no death. He's got many faces. I look forward to seeing this one. Everything you did brought you where you are now. Where you belong. Doesn't tire. Doesn't stop. Doesn't feel. I promise to fight for the living. I intend to keep that promise. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. We finally got our Game of Thrones Season 8 trailer. There's a whole bunch of Easter eggs buried in the backgrounds of a lot of these shots. So we'll break it down shot by shot. There's a new round of the book giveaway too. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video. So first things first, we start with the Arya voiceover talking about the faceless men while she's running through the castle. So obviously they're mixing a lot of shots. The voiceover is coming from her looking at the dragon glass, getting really excited about the army of the dead. Like I'm not afraid. I look forward to meeting death's face when it arrives talking about the Night King but the shot of her running through the battlements is obviously from the actual battle during episode three so for the most part I think all the footage that we see is just up to episode three the first half of the season because they alternate between shots of people arriving at Winterfell the Golden Company arriving at King's Landing Cersei meeting Euron and the leader of the Golden Company in the actual battle itself which is episode three and because they've been hyping it up so much I think they're just focusing most of the trailer on that the tension before a lot of the interpersonal politics that happened in those first couple of episodes the calm before the storm that I talked about in my last teaser video and then the actual explosion of battle itself the thing that's different about this trailer than previous seasons is that usually all the Game of Thrones trailers contain footage from pretty much almost the entire season up to the final episode this season obviously they want to hold back as much as possible especially from those last couple of episodes there's a shot of Davos walking on the battlements probably before the battle happens because it's still so dark behind them. The sky hasn't been lit with red fire. There's a shot of Varys, Gilly, the women and children hiding in the crypts at Winterfell probably during the battle while it's going on just because Varys looks so concerned. So they're actually using the crypts a lot for a lot of different reasons. One for the obvious reason where Jon Snow goes to talk so to speak to his father that he thinks Ned Stark and see his mother Lyanna Stark just to ponder the weight of everything consider what they have to do next the big task ahead of them so I'll talk about those shots too because there's a couple shots of Jon Snow in the crypts with Daenerys but the crypts themselves would be the safest place for them to go during the battle there's a shot of Euron bringing back the Golden Company then you actually see the leader of the Golden Company in his golden armor with very blonde Targaryen looking hair remember that it's important because the Golden Company was founded by a bunch of Blackfyres Targaryen bastards that lost the Blackfyre rebellion and were exiled to the east and if you didn't know what their motto is it's our word is as good as gold their claim to fame is is that not only are they really good at their job they also have never broken a contract with anyone so you know what that means if their word is as good as gold and they're Targaryen bastards and you have a Targaryen queen in the north what a surprise it would be then if they broke their contract to serve Daenerys and turn against Cersei there's a shot of Beric, Tormund and Ed from the Night's Watch yay yeah, they're confirmed alive we all knew that they were going to be alive entering what looks like could be the crypts at Winterfell or one of the doors at Winterfell just because they're walking down a flight of stairs and the only places that you walk downward in Winterfell if you're not up at the top of the castle is when you're walking down into the crypts so that's why I think that it's the crypts there's also a shot later in the trailer of Jon Snow rushing with a bunch of Targaryen and Stark soldiers at that same door 
Then you get the voiceover of Bran talking probably to Jon Snow while you get a couple of shots of the dragons flying over Winterfell and Sansa freaking out like, oh my God, those are a couple of dragons. He says, everything you did brought you where you are now, where you belong, home. Based on the context of what he says, for a minute I thought he could be talking about Jamie, but when he says the word home, I think he's talking to Jon Snow because Jon is going to be so torn about his Targaryen heritage. But Winterfell is the home that he knows. Ned Stark is the father that he knew, even if he's not his biological father. Love the way they cut in shots of King's Landing and Cersei looking very pleased with herself while he's giving that voiceover too, because she's probably seeing Euron's ships move into the bay. You see a little boy in Wintertown just south of Winterfell watching Daenerys' army march through. This is just extra footage from the scene of Arya that we got a little while ago, so just more context for what's happening during that from different viewpoints. You get an up-close wide shot of the Unsullied army with Jon Snow and Daenerys marching behind them like we all thought. Then you get your shot of Daenerys meeting Jon Snow in the crypts at Winterfell. Now you can't really tell which statue he's at, but I'm assuming that in this one it's relatively early and he's going to Ned Stark's statue because the weight of everything is so extreme what they're trying to do, save the world from certain death, and he's trying to model himself, his life as an adult and a leader after Ned Stark. So even though Ned Stark died in the first season, he is so important to what's happening this season. There's going to be so many references to season one moments, particularly the pilot episode. So what happened in the pilot episode after Robert Baratheon arrived at Winterfell? They had that funny moment in the courtyard, then immediately he went down to the crypts to visit Lyanna's statue. So this is probably their version of that where they go down and they visit Ned Stark's statue. You get a shot of the forges, you see Gendry who's probably helping them forge weapons and armor because the really cool easter egg in the background of some of these shots later when you see the breastplates is that it's the Targaryen sigil mixed with the Stark wolf sigil. So you have combo breastplates. A few people told me that they actually had a wrap party with these combo sigils. So HBO will probably be selling combo merch with this sigil later this year. I don't know what date it'll be available or anything like that because obviously if they had shown this earlier it would have been a big spoiler. But it makes sense because all these people here aren't part of the Unsullied, they're not Dothraki blood riders, and those were Daenerys' only soldiers when they arrived at Winterfell. So everybody that's wearing this combo breastplate is probably a northerner. You get the voiceover from Jon Snow, our enemy doesn't tire, doesn't stop, doesn't feel. They give you a shot of Grey Worm and Missandei, they're still pushing that ship pretty hard. Grey Worm is standing at the front of the army too. There's a lot of main characters at the front of the infantry line when the army of the dead arrives. They did confirm that they're going to kill a lot of main characters during those first three episodes, particularly the big battle episode during episode three. You get a big wide shot of the dragons flying over the forests in the area around Winterfell. The corresponding shot in Wintertown of Arya either looking up at Jon Snow or looking up at the dragons and smiling because she's excited now that he's back. There's a shot of Jon Snow in the Godswood at the Heart Tree. This is a very similar scene that you would see Ned Stark. He spent a lot of time in the Godswood during season one before they went down to King's Landing. You get a new shot of the Hound in the middle of the battle. You can see all that fire behind him. This will remind you of the infamous Blackwater fight with all the fire behind him where he had one of his most famous quotes ever on the TV show. You see someone hacking away at whites on top of the battlements at Winterfell. They're using their right hand, so I'm assuming it's not Jamie. It could be the Hound, but then you do get a shot of Jamie screaming something, screaming orders at someone. But just remember that Jamie uses his left hand to fight. So if you see someone swinging away with their left hand, it's probably Jamie. You get a shot of Cersei inside a very empty Iron Throne room meeting what looks like Euron and the leader of the Golden Company. You see a shot of Cersei drinking wine and it'll remind you because of the way they cut this into the trailer that it's just like the Blackwater episode where she was hunkered down in Maegor's Holdfast with Sansa and her ladies in waiting just getting drunker and drunker. That's where all the more wine memes came from was her sassing everyone swinging her wine glass around because she was pretty sure that they might wind up dying that night. The other really important thing about this scene too is that because this is probably from the first three episodes, Cersei is really pregnant and guzzling wine, Cersei style, and being pregnant do not mix. She looks like she's been crying a little bit, so this could be after she loses the baby. It's hard to tell. Cersei seems like someone who might be willing to drink a little bit of wine while she's pregnant, but you never really can tell with her. There's a shot of Jaime arriving at Winterfell in the Great Hall just giving the same speech. I made a promise. I intend to keep it. So this is probably in the first episode sometime. 
You see someone sharpening their blade. It's hard to tell who it is, but then you see Jon Snow and those soldiers marching at the same door that Beric was going into. It could be the crypts at Winterfell. It could just be one of the other entrances to the castle. Then you get a shot of Jon Snow and Daenerys outside, way beyond the walls at Winterfell, walking up to Drogon and Rhaegal, looking like they just finished their lunch. It doesn't look human because the skeletons and the spines here just seem way too large, so it could be some animals. But it reminds you of the scene during season four where Drogon roasted the shepherd's son and you just see this charred remains on the ground there. But they seem pretty casual when they're walking up to the dragon so I'm assuming that these are just a couple animals and they were just getting something to eat. You get a different shot of Sansa looking very severe on the battlements. This is probably when she notices Daenerys' army marching in through Wintertown before the dragons fly overhead and freak her out. Then you get a shot of Arya fighting on the battlements with a dragon glass tipped spear. There's a shot of Daenerys looking like she just got some really, really heavy news inside Winterfell, possibly during episode one, episode two. Maybe this is after they find out Jon Snow is secretly a Targaryen and she's just like, oh, Jesus, I don't know how to deal with this. There's a shot of Tyrion looking way, way up either at the dragons or Daenerys on one of the dragons. You get a different shot of Drogon in the middle of the night, possibly during the battle opening up in flame. You get a slow pan to the front of the army with Brienne, Podrick, and Jorah, probably all the other big main characters that are capable of fighting on the ground. You're also reminded about the combo breastplates on all the northerners here of the Stark sigil and the Targaryen sigil together. Then the camera pans to the left and you see the undead horse's hoof march in. That's not necessarily the Night King because remember during the season 7 finale when the army of the dead marched up to the wall, the Night King actually flew in on Viserion while he was destroying the wall. There was just a regular white walker that was leading the army on horseback so it's probably that same white walker. But let me know in the comments what's your favorite part of the trailer and if there's any easter eggs that you saw that I didn't mention in the video in all these shots, just write them below in the comments. What'll happen is, is I'll do a follow up video for this tomorrow for some of the bigger stuff. Leave your requests in the comments below and I'll name a giveaway winner when I post that. While you wait for everything, click here for my teaser video. I talk a little bit about what they've said about that big battle and how it plays out and what's going to be going on. And click here for all my other Game of Thrones Season 8 trailer and promo videos. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.